of fellow Toastmasters. The topic is building wealth through challenges, like my book is, building wealth through challenges, but it's through history. Building wealth through challenges through history. The issue is the record number of foreclosures. 2.82 million people, families, lost their homes in 2009. And according to Associated Black Charities, 33% of them from Maryland were in Prince George's County. And we've been through these crises before. We had the Great Depression of 1929 that lasted through 1939. And we came through that, but we still have the same problems, each depression or recession. What fueled the Great Depression was the job losses, the war, and there was a boom before that with frivolous spending. But there was a bus time. Well, we came through that. FDR, Franklin D. Roosevelt, put protections in place like the Social Security system so people would have something to retire off of. That's also where we ended up with the federal deposit insurance so that when you put money in the bank, some of it is insured by the government so that something will be there should the bank close down. After the Depression, we started booming again. It took a while, to 10 years, to get through that, but we recovered. So we can achieve through challenges. We also have some self-made millionaires through these challenges, which I'll get through in a minute. Like we had Madam C.J. Walker, who led the pressing company. And that was after the slavery and the uh, civil rights and not being able to vote, she was able to become a self-made millionaire with that invention and the cream that came with that. Then we went through the recession, if anyone remembers the great ethanol crisis of the 1980s through 90s, where the banks did the same thing they did today. They got overextended, they gave loans to companies and to individuals who could not afford to pay the back because they did not evaluate things properly. And they're taking advantage of the real estate boom, especially in the commercial real estate market. So many banks closed up. In other words, 747 SNLs closed. Remember the people who stayed in long lines trying to get about five cents on a dollar to get something left of the money they put in the banks that they were a member of during the SNL crisis. But time passed and we got through that. And again, more people became wealthy. They had Bill Gates become wealthy. There's Oprah Winfrey. Even though we're having challenges now. Again, it repeated itself. Foreclosure crisis. Banking fallout. And again, that's happened throughout our history, and we got through it. We've had inequality of wealth distributing. That's throughout our history, as well as now. That's part of the problem also. So our system is flawed in this capitalistic society. The question is then, how can you protect yourself so that when things go bust, you don't have to go bust also? Well, then that comes back to my handout that I gave you about building a strong financial house. We all want to start with our goals and write them down to the top. We also want to make sure that when you reach your goals, you don't lose them, like the house you're getting foreclosed on. So start at the very bottom. Income protect protection. That's usually insurance. So if you get sick or if there is untimely death of your spouse, you don't lose the house because usually the house is paid for by both people. So you want to have insurance, such as disability insurance in case you get sick or disabled, can't work like you used to, or in case there's untimely death. Then emergency funds. We don't save very much in society. That's part of why the foreclosure happened. Not enough savings, but a lot of debt. Emergency funds should be six months to, tw to 12 months times your major expenses. I don't mean your shopping sprees. I mean things on basic such as your place you live in, the house, or the rent, as well as your transportation and your food. Those are basic survival necessities. Because when times get rough, or your job gets downsized, or you lose your job, you have to budget and streamline, cut down expenses. And next, production management. Production management, that is, in your your assets are protected, not just your house. You have insurance on the house, and insurance on your car. So that if something happens, such as a tree falls on your house because of bad weather, a tornado, or a bad storm, you have to come out of your pocket to pay the whole bill for a roof that's destroyed. The insurance will pay a lot of that if you got the right insurance. Same thing with a car. 
people are getting run into accidents. So you have insurance on your car, so you don't have to come out of your pocket to pay the whole bill. You just have to pay a small deductible. And we talk about debt elimination or budgeting. That's the next one. A lot of people don't know how to save money because they can budget. But if you can budget your money, which is a listing of your expenses and your income, then you can see where your money is going. If it's written down, you can see where your money is going, where you can spend more wisely and save more wisely and cut down where necessary. An example is that some people use a credit card to pay for frivolous things like paying for the gas, paying for lunch, when if you used your just cash, you would save on interest and not accumulate so much debt. So think about next time you put your credit card, is that a wise move? Is that something you want your child to take a habit of frivolous spending on a credit card? Because your children are watching how you spend your money and how you use your credit. That's the